Now ask her if she can hear you. Can you hear us now? Is this any better? Yes, that's better. Now I can hear. Yay. Thank you. Can you hear your voice? Okay. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I apologize for the delay. Welcome to the May 10, 2022 meeting of the Weathersfield Historic District Commission. For those of you who have not been here before, tonight's meeting is composed of two parts, the public hearing and the public meeting. In the public hearing, we ask each applicant to come forward and explain their application in detail. This will give us an opportunity to clarify what you're proposing to do and for you to ask us any questions. Commissioners may voice an opinion or suggestions, suggestion based on their own feelings, but a vote is not taken until the public meeting following the public hearing. In the public meeting, which is not open to public comment, we will deliberate your application and decide how to act on it. We may approve it, approve it with stipulations, table it for consideration. In rare cases, we may deny it. You are welcome to stay for the public meeting, but need not do so. The results of tonight's meeting will be available from the Weatherfield Building Office tomorrow at 860-721-2839, anytime after 9 a.m. Please be advised that the Historic District Commission approval does not preclude the need for any other permits, such as zoning, inland wetlands, and building. Please contact the building department to review any other permits that may be required before you begin your construction. With this, I will ask our clerk, Commissioner Lyons, to read the legal notice. Thank you. Legal notice, Town of Weathersfield Historic District Commission. Weathersfield Historic District Commission will hold a public hearing on Tuesday, May 10th, 2022, at 7.30 p.m. at the Weathersfield Town Hall, 505 Silson Highway, Weathersfield, Connecticut, conference room number three on the following applications seeking a certificate of appropriateness. Application 7058-22, Anthony Costello, seeking to replace fascia with white aluminum, replace gutters with 6K white seamless gutters, replace roof with GAF architectural shingles in sapphire color, which is not on the pre-approved list, in the 21 Avalon place. Application 7059-22, Jonathan Weiner, seeking to replace 12 existing vinyl windows with Power 200 series vinyl windows at 271 Garden Street. Application 7060-22, Ashley and Jordan Price, seeking to replace kitchen windows with Windsor windows to match remainder of home at 118 Broad Street. Application 7061-22, Anthony Omicki and Linda Targeri, seeking to construct a 24 by 36 detached garage with shiplap siding, Anderson 400 series windows, carriage house collection garage doors, Anderson exterior nine light side entry door, and gooseneck warehouse light fixtures at, 20, at 223 Garden Street. Application 7062-22, Doug, Doug and Ashley Elliott seeking to remove existing garage and construct a 28 by 32 garage in the same location with a party vertical board, back and siding in night gray color, copay canyon ridge terrace house, steel doors with mahogany overlay exterior, Marvin elevate windows black color, Marvin true style four light side, entry door, cupola on roof at 30 Broad Street. On the Weathersfield Historic District Commission, Kim Wolf duly authorized, stated at Weathers, Connecticut, 25th day of April, 2022. Thank you, clients. Okay, we'll start with the first application, 7052, the application at 14 Willard. Wanna join us down at the end here? Certainly. And tell us what you're proposing. Um, a whole over from last week, so I'm not directed there. Yes. Uh, my apologies, I got confused on dates, but my name is Brent Quinn. So we're to construct a 16 foot by 8 foot deck with Shrek Select decking in a van gold color on the northeast corner of the old 14 foot. Um, Can we have to to consider new owners? Yes. Yes. Welcome to the neighborhood. Um, I've got a plot plan and it just has a circle. It doesn't show us actually. Does it stand? You... It stands four feet proud of the east side of the hall. Okay. Um, four or five years we walked by the Arbor Buddies that were already there. Um, but we chose a the Havana Gold railing and a black baluster system, so it does it will disappear. You won't have the big white posts to see from the core of the house as you're traveling west on Willard Street. You're 
be some of those you have to look over your left shoulder behind you. You can see it as you exit the neighborhood. It's visible from the re-flooded properties on our ground. Anyone west of us on Willard Street. Next, three addresses would be to see it from their backyard. And the balance of the pictures are just existing. Yes, sir, exist, existing from the house that's two doors west of us on Willard okay. So interestingly, you raised the arborvitaes, which were meant to shield the pool that's back there, but yes. you did not adequately do so. But yes. it's not your fault because you were not the occupant. But there will be uh, there will, there will be additional plants that you put in there to shield it. Um, bigger okay. arborvitaes, careful the ones that are there, but okay. So you're they're gonna, there. So you're going to replant something else. Yeah, the pools that the pool situated the pools are about four and a half feet high, and if you're at ground level. You can't see in the pool, and I have an eight year old and a 10 year old, and all of their peers are they're tall enough to stand. But if they got in trouble sitting on the yard, you wouldn't be able to see in it. Right. So the deck would elevate you and hit you at any point that would look into the pool. That's <laughs> yeah. Which so would look much better than if my if healing. the boss was here, um, <laughs> she'd be right, right on the same page. I have a question. Yes. <laughs> When you introduced the project, mm -hmm. you mentioned that the sixteen hundred. Correct. Did you misspeak, or because all the paperwork says sixteen by twelve? Yes. Sorry, it was originally sixteen by sixteen by twelve, which is a four feet proud of the house, okay. rather than the, the existing pool in the back of the house with the addition that was there is sixteen by eight by the okay. opening. Okay. Yes. Thank you. The other question I have is the red rings that they created show the stairs coming down to the landing mm -hmm. and then another set of stairs going down. Correct. And then a hole to, as you're coming down the stairs on your back. Yeah, I think the, render, the rendering doesn't adequately reflect what that was. I don't think, uh, I know the software was new for the contractor. So he looks like I'm not sure I did that right. Um, and it does look like a hole, but it is a Oh, really? It's it's a split from the 58 inches, I think, at that point it created to get it to come out. He was thinking that he might have to go and regrade to get one more step for safety rather than have a big drop. Okay. Um, but we're still kicking around the idea of how to how to complete the landing because that grade it would be five steps down facing to the north and then. Five steps down yeah, that's at ten inches of rise, and six inches, six steps down at nine. Yeah, yeah. Four, nine, nine, so. yeah. Either one of those yeah. Steps. No, my question though is right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's message. the house. That's, that's the, the house. that's the actual back side of the house. Okay. And those steps are not going to stand proud on the other side of the house, are they? No. Okay. No. So we touch behind the house. Correct. Okay. The, the uh, eight foot of depth that you put a table out there with four chairs, you don't get enough movement where anybody could get by <coughs> that court off area without having to yes, move their chairs in to like walk around. So the four feet just makes them an easier flow to get a table in that corner where you're not visible from the street or on the Else have any other questions? So the, you had mentioned the railings being in black. The balusters were black. Okay. The top cap and the bottom bottom uh, of the balusters would be the same yeah, and then all, okay. and then the, the sleeves on the on the boats are are going to be in a bagel as well instead of the white that you see traditionally everywhere else. It will more bleed into the background right. and stand out. Yeah, so it's a sweet. Those are an, an aluminum sleeve that's power coated, I believe, in the same the same tone. Um, they don't make if they don't make the sleeve and the availability has been up and down with that sleeves cap, uh, the contractor will just 
this raffle in the some actual planking that you could buy right away from them. Anyone from the public wishing to speak in favor or against? Hearing none. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you for your time. Thank you. We'll move on to application 70. I'm sorry, did I ask you for your name and address for the record in the beginning? You did not. I offered did it you? Okay, Brendan you Quinn, for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Application 705 to the application at 21 Avalon Place. Hi. Hi there. Welcome. Um, my name is Scott McKinney. Uh, I'm representing the contractor. Can you give your business address for us? Sure. It's uh, technically 0501 Central Drive, Chester, Pennsylvania. Uh, locally, we're based out of 60 Commerce uh, Drive in Trumbull, Connecticut. Okay, you have a sample for us? I do. I think I'll three bags here for you. Yes. It looked in the picture you provided, it looked very blue. Yes. Very, very blue. So this does not look very good. Uh, we did this to match up with uh, the back. I didn't want to see it from here. Right. <laughs> <laughs>
uh, any kind of flashing that would be needed for pipe collars, um, flashing around the chimney, things of that nature. It's all going to be done with color match paint, so it all looks the same. You don't see anything special that brings it. Maybe <laughs> cool. Not for this. Anyone else? Anyone from the public wishing to speak in favor or against? Hearing none, thank you for coming in. We'll move on to application 7059271 Garden Street. Hi everyone, John Meyer, 271 Street. Welcome. Good to see you again. What's your extension? He said after the meeting. <laughs> so I'm looking to replace 12 birdies as the final windows on the property. These windows have been on the house actually prior to us moving in in 2008. So they're quite old and ready to go. We're going to replace them with Ella 200 series windows. Uh, like for like style. Uh, we're not changing the style, so they'll have three by three and four by four lats on the larger and smaller windows, as you see in the photos. I think I provided pretty much every angle I could possibly get of the house of where the windows are going to be replaced. Most of them are on the front and sides. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can tell you, so I'll open up questions. <laughs> so, um, point of curiosity more than yes. anything. Um, obviously, the final windows have not lasted all that long in the end of the window light, but you do not want to consider a product that is not final? We already had our addition approved back in 2013 with final windows. Um, which we can't see. Which you cannot see, correct. And to be honest, um, going like for like with vinyl was a cost savings, yep. uh, but also it just matches the decor of the house already. Um, we also didn't want to get crappy for lack of a better term, final windows, these are actually really good, high rated. Um, we did our research um, and settled on these. Um, yeah. so so the, I went, I had um, our coordinator pull the yeah. file to see how long they've been there. Yeah. It's been like 23 years. I was, that's what I was thinking around that. Um, yes, they were there when we moved in. Um, right. And, you know, they've held up, but it's just time. Which in the yeah. world of a window, you know, I'm on. Dish. Yeah, understood. Yeah, yeah. It's the unfortunate okay. side of us having vinyl already, okay. slash fortunate enough to be able to save some money. Right. Um, but yeah. Anyone else have any questions? No? Thank you very much for coming in. Anyone from the public wishing to speak in favor or against? Hearing that, we'll move on to application 7060118 Broad Street. Hello. Been here a long time. Name and address for the record. Ashley Price, 118 Broad Street. This is looking great. Thank you. So we're hoping to, we did our windows, Gold did them for us. We did. 98% of the house, which is still an exorbitant amount of windows. Um, it was like 40 something. It was a crazy amount of windows that we replaced. But we held off in the kitchen because at the time we were sort of toying with a kitchen renovation. What were we going to do? We're going to move the door. And none of that came to fruition. And we just did a whole cosmetic update in the kitchen to kept the layout rather similar. So what we're looking to do is replace I would say most of what we're replacing you can't even see from the road, but the part that you can see is if you're walking um, along our sidewalk, you can see we have one alcove of windows that's outside of the fence, then we have that weird little jet in, and then we have that second alcove of windows which goes into our kitchen. So the idea is to have all the windows be the same. So we're actually replacing all the kitchen windows, there'll be new construction because all the sills and that addition are completely rotting. So you needed a whole new casement on the windows. Okay. So it'll be the exact same window that you guys already approved with that two over two light pattern, the exact same finish on the glass, the exact same screen that you guys approved for the remainder of the house. So it actually has more continuity. Okay. So you're, the windows that are currently one over one, you're going to do the, the division <coughs> though? They'll look exactly the same. So like I, I took a quick picture today just so you could have a visual, but like, 
these are the alcove windows that you see that are on the outside of the fence there, just beyond the porch. Those were replaced by gold and those are all new construction windows. Those are the only ones that required full new casements on the windows. So all of the kitchen windows will look exactly like this, right? with the same like thick story. Yep. Yeah, the windows are good. It's a, it was a nice project. It was a project that needed to happen. Yeah. They were awful. Anyone have any questions? No. Hearing none. Thank you so much. Thanks. Anyone from the public wishing to speak in favor or against? Hearing none. Moving on to application 7061, application for 223 Garden. Nice to be in person. I'm Anthony Homicky, 223 Garden Street. Welcome. Visit to Jerry. Okay, so tell us about your project. Specifically, it's a two-car garage we'd like to install. It's with the application that says 24 by 36 detached garage. Each of left siding can be used for the series windows. Third child's collection overhead doors. Transom window and exterior nine light side door, entry door. We submitted to you a photograph of what we think. Uh, Dimensions are approximate. Uh, I was trying to get a more accurate image of the garage, but the last minute notice we couldn't get any more detail. Than the drawing was that drawing, and those are accurate. Yes. Then yes. we have a plot plan of where it's going, and that's the same today. Yeah, originally, I wanted it attached to the house, but when we had a, a pre-review. I you suggested to sort of detach it is fine with us also so we're going four to six feet away from the house. So, and it needs to be corrected. I think that at a 28 foot dimension we're applying for 24 foot width, not the 28 foot. Right. 24 by 36. That's okay. We can that's not your software. Uh, oh. anyway. okay. yeah, for the record, around. I wanted it's, to make sure it's so tiny. No, I, it does say 28 on the plot plan, so I'll probably just have you change that. Yes. yes. I wanted to make sure we hit the setbacks and the sidelines accurately. Is that what's driving the size? Yes. Yes. I've been on the planning and zoning for almost 18 years, so very sensitive to the issues of the sidelines. Um, I'm just curious. Is this going to be? Fishing space, heating the pool. I'm just the reason I'm asking the question is if it's not, you're spending a lot of money on windows. Do you have a two family house? Yeah, yeah. three bed and three bed, no closets, and limited storage capacity in uh, the basement. Is no, this, no. Is so, so we're looking there for cold storage yeah. on the second floor. But if it's, if it's not conditioned space, you're spending a lot of money on windows that are double paint. Good windows. It doesn't mean that five years from now, if I come before you, uh, <laughs> All right. let that's not our thing. Okay, so maybe a native studio. <laughs> okay, that's why. I mean, yeah. it's, it's that sort of thing. It's, you know, if you're planning down the road, then great, great. question. Yes, but I why is all that money? money. It, you don't need it. We want to do it right. Okay. Um, I just passed okay. down. Where to go? Oh, for him to just sign. Yes. Oh, sorry. Yeah. If you could just sign where I put the date on the left hand side there, because um, I changed the number on that dimension, I want that to be correct. So there's three four out for us? Yes, two in the front, one on the side. If you do have a small sailboat, then it should be able to maneuver in the back. I'd like to get as much stuff inside as, as possible. Yeah. It looks a little cluttered right now. So. We did have an engineer approval. The town engineer did review the, you know, Plot plan and it's uh, okay with us putting in the driveway on that side. The curb cut won't be an issue. The sidewalk has to be maintained with certain criteria. And uh, because it's a two family, it's, it's uh, more of a, a, a positive towards, towards, the, towards the house. So you're going to maintain the existing driveway yeah. park also? Yes. I don't know how people live there with uh, six bedrooms. And we have reason to believe there were up to eight to ten people living there jockeying the cars around every morning and every night. It's quite a challenge. Yeah. You can record a lot. <laughs> we'll to keep it safe. I suggested that the garage maybe be a little further away just to make this yard seem bigger and you know, you've got these windows seeing just more wall right away. 
Inside the second floor, the portion of the building is a shed. It's a cold shed right now. We're going to maintain it that way. Um, storage shed. Right. Because it's the backyard setback, I have to be 30 feet away. That's where that 31 foot dimension was. Right yeah. Yeah. That's almost like space. You can't I'm trying to avoid going through there. Which I could. I thought about that because I did make that suggestion. Yeah, we, we actually talked about it and I talked to the class and did the design of the garage. Yeah. Um, so with the contractors we're looking at, I think this is the best. Yeah. Yeah. I think I need one. Uh, it's just it's, it's taken six or seven weeks to get the design, the yeah. drawings, and somebody for you. But I will. I know when I built my garage, it was over eight feet. Yeah. Right. If it's required, we're going to do it. You'll, you'll do that. <laughs> Agreed. So 18 feet is not a detached garage. Yeah. For a detached garage, 18 feet is not a Unless you ask nice. Thank you. I mean, from the, from the drawings, it's much shorter than the house, obviously. Yeah, but, and, but, um, but this makes it look like it's yelling the shit. It's more than yeah. 18 feet. And That's you don't want part. it a little further this is away from the house than it is? So. Uh, we would like to, but we don't. Yeah, they're the same. I think they're about the same. Are they? Oh. Oh, we'd like to go farther away from the house, but we have that 30 foot setback to keep the bike going. We can go six six feet. We will, but we'll have the surveyor come back and define that. We want to make sure that the setbacks are thirty foot on one side and ten feet. Should be a little further yeah. right now. So yeah. There's the the windows on the front. Yeah. 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 Little more room. Walk around the back. Charlie, the windows on the front facade. They may not be drawn to scale. Are are they similar in size to the house windows on the house? Yes, they are. They're all dressed. Yeah, it's it's just disproportionately. Yeah. Yeah. You have nice transom, nice doors, but it just looks. It's no, I'm asking. Oh, this. Yeah. Right. That's what I thought. I use the existing house measurements with the windows to match this progression. So that's for soft world. That's good. So. So the garage door, smooth finish. Is that an extra to it? Must be that thing. That's we're going for one. Okay. So that had like a carriage house door. All right. So is it like three surface like this? I that's the one. That's the one we said. Is that wood grain or is it It's a wood grain. This is the overhead door. Yeah, I'm looking at the text. I'm looking at the picture, which is as good as yours. Yeah, you can't tell. It just says oak stain. I don't know. I think we'd prefer to have a wood finish. How much is the wood grain? Is that the same as the wood grain? Yeah, it's the same as the wood grain. What is sold oftentimes as wood grain looks like weather wood as opposed to freshly painted. So probably what we want to look fresh and also to keep your maintenance down is a smooth finish. And the reason I say that maintenance is that raised grain catches dust, even more pronounced. Depending on your level of <laughs> it doesn't look good after a while. There's enough dust in the house. Dirty. Dirty. Yeah. So the, oh, yeah. the tiger wood is, it says natural looking wood siding option, but it's not wood. It's wood looking. We're on the board. So the ship left. Uh, 
we contract this with talks that just suggest it's positive for resilient natural looking wood siding option. Something called Jayka hardness rating of 1850 time wood siding. So it doesn't appear to be wood. Subject to the approval, you need a wood chip lap. We will definitely actually. I'd love to see this stuff. I would like to see the product, I think, honestly. Yeah. I, I apologize for not asking for that before tonight. Um, I was really focused on the rendering of what it was going to look like on the picture of the house itself and the proportions being accurate. Um, and I should have asked for a sample of that as well because I think we'd probably like to see it. It might be great. We just have it. It's not a product we're familiar with. Okay. This is something I gave you. We have this. Like yeah, I, but like the actual piece, like an actual cut of piece. Like we just asked for the roof to see what the roof looked like to see an actual piece of it. Yeah. That's okay. I don't have those. It's one thing to see either a rendering on the computer screen or a piece where you yeah. Yeah. I think all products must be against whatever a good product is to go with. I'm fine with that. Cost of the developers that I've talked to is that it's something made on budget that goes to that conclusion. I prefer wood myself. It's the application. Let's, see what, they, let's that, see what they got. The cedar siding, I can <laughs> definitely split that to the final product. And then location of the lighting. I have it uh, done by the our ability to do the elevation designs uh, but one above each one of the four pressures. So great. Yes. After the three back, uh, we have decided that. You can always add something later. Just so we have the I'm looking at your right and right side elevation. So the sailboard is going to come in from the house side. No, no, it's on the left. I know it's marked. It's okay. labeled incorrectly. All right. You did pick up on that. I forgot. I see that. Why did you tell me it's right side? It's a why are they Well, that's we were wondering the earlier outside. you're talking about the man door being on the far side instead of the close side and getting the boat in from the front no, side of the property. Oh, yeah. He, he, he was supposed side. to change the. Yeah. After the fourth or fifth. The question changes it's so got a little bit of fatigue, so right. we go. That's okay. Uh, yes. So four of us. Four all together. That makes a lot more sense. It does. The right and left side. Yeah, you can't do a sailboat at the other thing is, it's going to be on the We were hoping to be before you, but uh, the previous meeting, it's just going to make more inference than the details of the exam. Anybody's a little overstated or utilities from it?
That's the front. So what what is on side. this side? The west. The west. So it's going to be one variety on the side towards the back. On that border, there's 12 to 15 foot now providers for our neighbors yeah. to share right on the border. And we will be before you putting in some mount fencing because we had originally uh, designed that that's uh, so the priority right now is the project. So it's four windows and the garage door. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, that was what I was curious about. Okay, let's just Right. Okay. 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 Anyone else? Ever against? Hearing none, we'll move on to application 7062 30 Broad Street. Welcome back. Uh, so, I'm going to ask you only at 30 Broad Street. Tell us about your time check. Uh, so, we took some uh, feedback from the guys um, last fall when we came and talked about uh, different options. So, kind of separated from that idea until we redid it, took some inspiration from other. Um, Barn sale garages or barns on the street. There's a couple around us. And, and uh, kind of designed what we wanted instead of trying to fit what we thought would kind of fit the area too. So I know where we came up with a little bit wider, a little bit shorter, uh, same exact location. So we're trying to make it really useful upstairs if we want to do something down the road. And then also get our stuff in the garage. Uh, 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 yeah, so. For reference, the uh, garage will be it's like 27 high peak. The gutters on the house are 22 to give you a frame. And then the peak on our house is almost 42 feet. So we tried to match the dimensions of the photo there. So that I get. <coughs> It'll be in the exact same location. There's 18 feet to the property line to our north. Uh, we'll cheat in about eight feet that way. Take a couple from the inside out, so we'll be well within the side. Yeah, I think usually when we're seeing um, big garage additions, the issue is that it um, can dwarf the house. It's too close to the house or too proud to the house. And this is shorter back far enough. We've got a huge piece of land. Um, I think the, you know, the size is well bigger, not shockingly bigger, and certainly completely subservient to the house still. I agree if it's set back from the house, but it's another almost 30 feet. Yeah, it's 135 foot row, but there is at least the deck is 18, so there's at least another from the decks of the garage. Yeah, the window of the garage was that's three windows, correct? Yeah. It's very close. Yeah, they're just part of each other, yeah. Um, and the black is not that one way by shrubbery things, but the start of the stage coming from the wider or a little bit more prominent, so there's a can you see the, the garage is going to be a dark color, uh, so there's not going to be any white trim on it. Uh, I know it shows white on there, but it is going to be dark. I wish we had the, yeah. The, to show the detail, the designs are a little lighter. I thought I had the color, I can't stand the color, but it's a dark gray. Um, so the same with the garage doors. That view of yeah, there you go. That view of the 3D model has got the sun shining on it. So I think overly brightened it up, but the, the black trim on the windows is gonna be very similar to the rest of the oh yeah, there's the gray. Okay. So, and currently we've got two different you know, three different color sidings on our house. The house is pretty and the garage is white and yellow, so this kind of limit there. If you want to redo something in the house, it kind of gives us the option to without sticking out right now. Sure. Talk about the garage doors. Yeah. Material. So it's a steel garage door insulated uh, with a wood overlay. Okay. So yeah, it is smooth. <laughs> I was looking them up. And the windows are inset into the no garage windows door? on the garage doors. Okay. 
Yeah, it's hard to show place that it's a dark garage yep. door. Okay. So I'm just looking at dark garage That's door. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's exciting. That's exciting. That's a crime with dumping hundreds of pages of documentation <laughs> and trying to pick out. It's death by volume. Here you go. The wheat from the chaff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like I said, it's hard to get the detail on. I don't think, think we've seen these stores before. They look great, though. Very nice. So we're going with the asphalt. Uh, asphalt, just the eyebrow in the front, which is a little over these two things are size. Yeah, yeah those would be middle of the mess the house. Yeah, the front porch, that's the middle. Yeah, so yeah middle. it looks great. We can just bring it around. So you guys, you guys show the gooseneck lighting on one of them. Is that what you're going with the lighting? No, we're not doing lighting on the outside. It's going to be recessed lighting underneath the two over oh, yeah. to okay, keep yeah. it simple. Yeah. And we did the recessed lighting on our shed. The lights a little bit, you don't see it. Yeah, this is an old light. This is an old light. There's no transmission up here. There's no transmission in the garage. Yeah, there's that dark with the party. Right, that's just that. So, yeah, the actual window is a little more Yeah, you see how it looks like you've got the connects things that are. Yeah, you see how it looks like you've got That's a path. Four times. It's four. Yeah, four bad. Yeah. So it's two flat and one that stands proud of it. Right. In the hardy plane. Right. And then this is your um, entry door, but I don't think we're going to be able to see that at all. It'll be tucked on the back, right? Maybe a glimpse as you walk down the sidewalk. Yeah, it might not even. We have great landscaping in there, too. We're going to find that close. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see that at all. Oh, Sorry, but it's the shit you did. Azap trim or what type of trim? It'll be all hardy trim. There'll all be no fascia. Yeah, there'll be no reveals on the no, no white trim. Yeah. And then the uh, purple. I mean the cupola. Cupola, yeah. So that'll match just a bigger version of our um, old kind of shed. It's just 36 instead of 24. Um, same exact look. It'll be the yeah, yeah, that's what that's over here. It'll be same copper with the material on it to preserve it so it won't age. The only thing I'm a little worried about is that it's vinyl. And yeah, matching color. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're going to try to have the color match it because I don't want white on there with a whole dark gray garage. Yeah, right. Tone on tone, so we don't, yeah, right. have it come white. Such a black roof. It's going to be painted to match the hardy line. Okay. Yeah, we'll call it matching. It won't be close to it, so the text doesn't be fitting right. the whole roof. We'll be against it. You know, it would be the in between it, so as long as we get it. Unless we're not shiny white. Oh, yeah. Yes, we do not. 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 Yeah. 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 Uh, I could do a caveat, though, make sure you get absolute assurances of the yeah. lighting. You have dark color garage, dark color absorbed seat. Yeah, that was fine. All the stands and shrinks up crazy. It's actually it's based at how they put they built that, so it isn't final wrapped. So it's still final. Yeah, it's, it's a tough deposit. You're saying it yeah. oops. Yeah, it was a long part of the The only thing that the heat will, but the sun will never be on it uh, because the, the, the late, late heat afternoon, heat is, the heat itself would be yeah. enough. Yeah. To make things move a lot. Right. And things that may bother you is any gap that's there, it's just going to open up and reflect. Right. And close up again. It's hot, but it's an extra place to put some pocket in there. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> I think painted for us from the distance, it's going to look fine, but yeah, it's going to look fine. Yeah, for sure. And a really cool weather angle. Nice 
That's how big is that garage? Yeah, but we're not looking to match their house to what's next to that. Sure. We're looking but, for it, it to be appropriate for the streetscape. Well, we haven't voted yet. Yeah, no, I know. But I you was, can tell from right. where we're going. I know. I, so I said playing up there. I think I would drive by again. Like the scale is not not equal. So we're so, not looking for equal. We're looking for appropriate. Okay. Well, I read I read your the handbook and I talked about scale and appropriateness. Mm -hmm. Seems, it seems it seems like it's out of the ordinary up the other house on the street. Okay. So if it was a barn, You'd it fine. would be appropriate. I don't know what the rule what are the rules for the barn. There are rules. There are rules. It's whether it's, it's free appropriate farm. for the it's, property. So that's that's why we have five different individuals yeah. on the board. So we all have varying opinions on right. what we feel is appropriate. So it's or yeah. they still have to go in front of other boards. Yeah, I understand. I said probably playing up till up to that one. I understand. I, I, again, I don't crush it. What he wrote it just seems a lot of scale. Thank and, you. Uh, thank I'm sorry, I cut you off earlier. No, I was just going to clarify that like when money come on up and sorry, I'm not talking. That's okay. sorry. When you when we built our barn, it's 25 feet, I think, from the peak of the roof to the ground. So. What happens is you get approval here, and then you have to go to more zoning. And I think your barn is your footprint is too large, so you're going to need the zoning variance for the footprint, and you're going to need zoning variance for the height. So they could say, "Yeah, this looks great," and zoning could be like, no. "Right." So you just that's all. our neighbors next door have already said they write a letter for us. And another neighbor. That's all. Just like yeah, yeah, there's a process there's a, there's a beyond process, this right, minute, yeah, exactly. so everyone has a thank opportunity. Yeah. I just didn't know how many. I'm sure you all know that. But thank you very much. I'll take a motion to close the public hearing and open the public meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All right. Moving to public meeting. Application 7052. The application for 14 dollars. Submitted. I'll second. Um, basically, the deck that they're proposing is going to be minimal impact on that district. Uh, there'll be a little bit sticking out past the side. The coloring is going to be in the dark nature that you have to blend in. And overall, the design is appropriate for that. Chris, Chris Lyons. Oh. I was thinking the part that sticks out to see. What, what do you think of about if they don't have that aluminum wrap, wrap then they'll go to the, the plank. I actually think the plank would help it blend in better. <laughs> you can see it more because it is not working well. That's fine. Yeah, you'll see the change. But the route is going to be the same color as the plank, right? Yes. So. Yes. Yes. I mean, I go over the text. So I, right. I don't, I'm just talking yeah. about the text rail. So either way, with it, so it's going to be that the color. The will be yeah. smooth, though. You're talking about the deck. Well, they they might have a smooth side and yeah, and then you know on that trip. But also, that's not what he asked for. He asked for the route. If he yes. wants the planking, he can do an amendment for it if that's what he's looking for. But, but I think either way. Saying, rather see the planking. I think it would help that part of the city know when it's going to be the same color. I, I, think, it's the a, I think it's a wash. Yeah. 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 No, it's a good question for sure. But I think when you weigh out both colors, it'll be the same. Sure, color wise. Yeah, yeah. and just kind of. Yeah, yeah. if he changes his mind for us, it's a quick method. He can ask, talk to him about it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none. Opposed? No. Did you say that? No, he said that. Motion carries. The application is approved as submitted. Application 705821 Avalon. Motion is approved to you. <laughs> Change that for the record, please. Make a, make a motion to approve as submitted. I'll second. Uh, having been assured by the samples tonight that the roof is not, in fact, sapphire colored, it's only named sapphire color. Uh, I think it's perfectly appropriate. Uh, and when maybe we review our new shingles, it, it's something that can be approved anyway. 
We just haven't updated them recently. All those in favor? Aye. 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 The application is approved as submitted. Application 7059 271 Garden. I'll make a motion to approve as submitted. I'll second. Um, thank you. We've got final windows there already. So we're replacing it with blank windows. Like with like, like with yeah. like, so I think it's completely I appropriate. I think I'd rather just go to a different material, as you mentioned. But, uh, yeah. It's a good opportunity time wise, um, but of course, if they're putting in the same thing, then that's appropriate. I won't be here to see if they crop out 23 years again. <laughs> yeah, the only reason I would approve it is because they are already there. They look. Sides just on those renderings of the windows, but when I saw the pictures, I can see now that in real life, the depth of the window panes it won't look like one window. Because I can see how someone can drive by quick and think it's one big modern picture of them. Yeah, it doesn't play that way. So it was worse. Yeah. Yeah. 
and there's no doubt that you can to acknowledge that it's uh, a butter. It, it's definitely a lot larger than currently, but when we talk about that home, it's fully two. It's definitely appropriate for the process. Yeah, I think it's the same effect as that big bed of breakfast, the big green mansion, when they added that three car garage. That's a big building, barn, too. That's Anderson Farm. Yeah, there's so, there's, uh, Willard's old home that has that two story where you have to lose home still. There, there's plenty of subservient to the still the main house, like two story. So, yeah, right. yeah, the details are great. They did a great job on the details. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed aye. hearing none aye. The application is approved with the stipulation. Moving on to approval of minutes of April 26. Um, I will confess I did not review them. So did other people review yes, them or I should we table it? That was a hair, so yeah, you review. Okay. I looked at them also remote. Okay. Yeah, that's why I looked at it. Okay. Yeah, I, I make a motion for this submitted. Second. Second. Yep. All those in favor say aye. 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 I abstain. Abstain. The minutes are approved. Other business? Any um, public comments or general matters for the HTC? Uh, yes. Uh, Mr. Felix is here. Uh, talk about. Okay. Yes, here. He's physically here. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day. Thank you, everybody. Oh, I want to put you on the Oh, sure. Oh, oh, you go first? Yeah, sure, fine. sure, that'd be great. A customer just sent me a question. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure you can have it at 71 hold on. I was looking to get a set of motor farms. The garden special case. This one, but I want it to be all black, a black trim, but then also have a greasy dormer on the top. That's just an example of the dormer. But it's going to have those doors. So double doors for the dormer. So not double these doors. It's double those doors, yep. So of course we can't say yay or nay. We can say that will never be approved or something similar yeah, to that. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Um, Any feedback would be great. So this is your house. Your house? Yes, but okay. that tree's not there. And like um, where on the property is it going to go? On the back corner. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Is that someone else's shit back there? Yeah, that's the, uh, my neighbor's behind me. Okay. Are you looking at the T111 sighting? Yes. Okay. With the door protector on top. Yeah. Location, location, data, way back. Yeah. So we're seeing as I have a hard time with Jen's tiny little phone. <laughs> One more house and then we'll post that. Okay. What number? Over? 71. Should we bring before the one that was just to be done in January? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm curious. I just like the look of it. I, you know, we repainted our house last summer. We painted it white. Uh, and so eventually down the road, we would want to. But I just like the look of the black. I think it looks like I think it's way better. Yeah. Yeah. Nice shift. 
honor will break up the black. So the reason I asked, it goes to 11. Or the next owner decides they don't like black, it's easy to hang over. The pills are, you know, they're plastic or blue. It says two windows with box traps. Upgrade even though brown on the STD. Simulated? No. STD. Sexually transmitted disease. Standard. I don't think behind it, do you see where it is behind yeah, the garage? Right you, nobody's going to no. know what the windows are back no. there. No, no, I'm just curious about yeah. later on if you want a color change. Right. So maybe that's one of those things to figure out if you can just save those. Yeah. Okay, I forgot what the other thing that uh, I was hoping to get or get some feedback on is to have the uh, six foot chain link fence along the rear side of the property black, and then I would be putting uh, both as uh, privacy slides. <laughs> My neighbors have put up bushes on both sides of the property, so I have them going up all the way on this side and then up this side, probably halfway through. But to put bushes back there, it's a lot to maintain. And I'm going to have the shed back there. My neighbor behind me has his shed back there. And we clear it out every year and just more. So you're just talking stuff. about that peripheral, that yeah, far just end. right okay, here. So it's not going to come forward. No. Nope. Just that one on there. Yeah, and it's just so because. We've been clearing out every year. We just see directly into their back window, but now they see directly into our back window. Stop or some type of wood you have. Yeah, watch the wood that stuff. Just maintenance, price, yeah. price of wood is so crazy right now. Yeah. I don't have a problem with me personally with the chain link in the way back. I wouldn't want it on the sides anymore. Um, but I think that's a terrible. Well, take a look at yeah, there's so much crap in it. Yeah. It it, it's going to be catch. And the other thing is, what's going to look like in the winter? Bushes. It's going to look bushes. really, really One artificial. One of those shell towers that they put up. It's going to look really artificial. I know also you guys said you know vinyl, but they do have the vinyl that looks like full wood now. So, there's. <laughs> yeah, they'll say that beautiful. It'll look really, so, really shiny and terrible. There are some. Things that look very much like a little fence. Yeah. The problem is the finish is gloss. Okay. They have a really hard time killing the fence. Okay. And I will try that way that stands out. Yeah. Uh, and you'll also paint it because they end up cracking and you bump it with the lawnmower and then break. And, and you know, that's 15 years down the road. Okay. But vinyl does not, you know, in a case like Offense, it may last as long as it will. Yeah. But the way it fails is different. Okay. Yeah, so if it costs to replace it, every time you have to fix a panel or a if it's available. With the prices right now, you'd almost be better off with doing hedges. Some hedges back there and just let them grow. There's, I know, but look in, in the rear reminder, there's guys that have put in arbor vitis for the time. Yeah, it'd be super cheap to carry it out for your... you and get some immediate height. Yeah, it's more that my neighbor behind me, uh, behind his garage, he doesn't keep clear all of the work right. he's done. Right. So I just really don't want to pay that. Yeah, you don't look at it anymore. Honestly, that fence looks like it's being used. At least I'm not going to have to pull them out and pluck them. Chris Lyons makes a good point, though. If you get somebody to come in and they build a little berm, yeah. you get like immediate coverage that's going to look really good. Better for you if you don't want to do wood right now. And they do a one screen as opposed to that weaving through the stuff that's like you say a tennis board or something yeah. to that. That we'd have to see it, but uh, it, it, 
do get wood, it is a short section. So yes, yeah, right. So it's the it's the cheapest side you're going to do it, and you'll be probably. My last thing about the wood fence would be if I did steel posts instead of wood posts, would that be a problem?
and it gets into the whole chimney area and it gets into the whole back wall and it gets into the joists and it gets into the posts. So here is the addition. And the ceiling joists are held up by the chimney mass. And the chimney mass is doing nothing because the chimney mass has been taken down on the second floor. And we even put a support on top of the chimney mass up to a rafter. Uh, this, here you can see the close up. That little L or bump out uh, that has totally collapsed inside from the second floor into the first floor into the cellar. There's nothing there. You can't walk into it. The main house is separated, or the the L and the lean to uh, in essence have separated from the main building. And all these posts in the main building, you think if you looked at it from the south side, oh, it's okay. They're all shot. Here's another picture. You can see the, the the soffit on this house is remarkable. I measured this. It was 28 inches or something, or almost 30 inches. And I have theories about this house. Uh, there, there are many write-ups on it, and I don't think any of them are. Oh, that goes into the. I don't know. It's some gray and solid. Oh, it looks like some kind of plastic. I can't, I can't recall. I can't recall. But but there are feral cats coming in and out of the house. Wherever wherever I close it up, there's still a place to get in. But I, I do have it secure. No, I, I'm just curious. Yeah. I think it's just uh, plexiglass. That's what I think it is. I'll take a look. I'll well, I'm looking at the at the sill level here. Yeah. Yeah. This right here. Yeah. I think that's plexiglass. Oh, wow. okay. It's probably coming through the room that was stacked against the wall. And this is the left front room. Keep in mind that this was a one room deep house when it was built. And the right front room, which is the south front room, was the kitchen. I'll show you some pictures of that. Uh, here's another picture. You can see the, the very bad condition of the roof uh, along the gable end. But this is a close up of that gap. This is the uh, addition. This is a post. That's a rear post what's of the left? main house. What's left of it? What's left of it? So in rear corner. Yeah, that's the northeast corner. That old driveway side. The old driveway side, exactly. And that driveway is a good distance from the stop sign. And uh, Derek, the engineer, said we could put a 20 foot driveway there, which would come into the position of where the house was. This is just that bump out, that addition. And that's totally collapsed. There's nothing in there. I've never walked in there. I don't want to walk in there. Steve? Yes. The front post yes. looks like it's separating also. Is uh, that the case? To a certain degree, I'll show you something. I may have one up close, but it's rotted at the bottom. The, for some reason, the casing was cut away from the exterior. I don't know why. Those initial pictures I showed you, we put all the sash back in place so they were neat when we got in there. This is in the left front chamber, meaning over that room, the left front room. And this is the door. There was some paneling still here. But this door was all rotting. All the casing, the crown molding was rotting. The back of the paneling was rotting. And the chimney girt ended about four feet back this way. And this whole area was collapsing. And this was just all soaked. We couldn't save any of this. We couldn't save any of the molding above till about five feet. And this door was lovely with, uh, uh, what do they call the foliated hinges? Not just an H hinge, but they have a nice little twist to it. Like triangular decorative, almost like crown like uh, decoration. So we took this out <coughs> and then we put this, we put this post in because the girt would have come down. So we had this supported. And as soon as we took this out, the post in the corner, this is this is the post we put in. That post collapsed. It just fell apart. And that's supposed to be a A vent on the north, B vent before you get to the stairwell where the fireplace wall is, C vent where the right fireplace wall is, and the D vent, they run front to back, and there are bays in between them. And so this post, that was the condition of it. It just fell apart. And the whole area would have collapsed along with the attic if we did not put this post in. 
And I'm sorry, I ran off last night. I stayed up at 3 o'clock in the morning. It can tell you, I, I, I sent her about seven emails with five or six pictures in all of them. And uh, I, I meant did, uh, I don't know, I, I guess, yeah, I sent a whole bunch of emails to Kim. Anyway, uh, did you get them all, Kim? Or? Okay, <laughs> there are more pictures in there. But this is the post we put in. It's really good. It's in the right spot and it's doing its job. And it's put, the girt is above it, the chimney girt. That's the beat down. But that's doing a good job. See, what happened to the transom of the front door? I don't know what happened. Did it fall in? It I mean, fell in. I think we placed it somewhere. Oh, good. Yeah, but, maybe something walked with it. No, I don't think anybody walked off with it. I didn't walk off with it, but I did. Uh, this is beyond This is beyond that wall. And uh, we had to put another, we put something on the chimney. And if you walk in the, within five feet of the chimney from any direction, except the front stairwell, you're going to fall into the basement. That's how bad it is. You have to jack this up. I, what? I would want to take it down. Well, we're going to use, uh, if we take it down, and the, I've had both uh, Steve Lateruo and Charles Morrison over there. And Charlie, Steve, and I got to know each other pretty well. And they want to condemn the building. I don't want to condemn the building because I want to save the building. I think this is a very important house. Very few houses have a soffit that deep. If it's condemned, what prevents you from saving the project? Uh, if it's condemned, uh, I, you don't want to condemn it because I want to save it. Now, I want what is the what pro process? Oh, what, what, if, if the oh, town condemns well, no. it, what, what stops you from saving what you can? I don't even want to go there because they're going to work with that. I want to save it and dismantle it and catalog it. Also, there are many unanswered questions about this house. I wish to uh, do a dendrochronology. And there are still beams there that I can work with. And I would have a store at Deerfield do it. I'm doing a study on it. And I also want to document it completely so I could rebuild it. Wouldn't condemning save it? Because no, do whatever you condemning want would go to the lowest bidder. And my, a whole year of work oh, on my part would go down the drain. So I think with this. And also your preservation efforts yeah. and the historic disc commission would not be served by that. So I think what this commission is concerned about is if this house, whatever is done with it, yes. what is going to end up with? Is it going to end up sitting in somebody's storage? Is it going to get reconstructed? Uh, I mean, what's... I think this is a very important house. Yeah. I would like to raise money for it. I would like to talk to the Web Dean Stevens Museum. Uh, I had talked with some people years ago when I took down the uh, a surface 1740 house in Hartford. It was a Guillermo softbox. If you've read J. Frederick Kelly's book, Early Domestic Architecture in Connecticut, it's identical to the Glebe House in Woodbury, which is about 1740. And my architect, Leonard Baum, uh, uh, he says it's about 1740. Everything about it is right, it's right, right, right there. Right there. Not a beam on the center peak. Yeah. That's how they used to do it. Or, yeah, well, there still were a lot of houses that were built that way well into the 18th century. But I date this house around 1730 or 1735. However, there are stories about there being a one, a house can look totally symmetrical on the outside. But you get into it and you find out there was one room there in 1701. Then in 1716, they added another room. Uh, I, took, I took down a house in East Hartford that was going to be demolished. And everybody thought it was 1743. And it turned out I had a store Deerfield do the dendrochronology. And I knew from the size of the beams, then I took off the moldings, I found chamfers, lamp slung chamfers, double stop chamfers on the chimney girts. And it was 1692-93 that those were taken down. But all the posts in the whole building were 1743. And all the uh, joists, that were left there that went into the summers. The summers, all the girds were recycled from a one and a half story house of 1693. Then Mr. Hill, Mr. Hill's uh, grandson in 1743, and we had a lot more money. They took the building down, they reused the summers, they reused the chimney girds, and they cased them out. And we found on a, on a joist, do all Captain Hill's. And it was phenomenal. That's where I found the mural in three battle scenes from 
crunch into people. Well, I, have a, I have a couple sure. questions for you. Sure. How long is it going to take you to have a plan for what you're going to do with it? Uh, I can have a plan for you probably by the 24th. A plan that's oh, actually oh, what happening. I'm, what I'm, what I can't what's tell you. To have? Not taking it down. Yeah. Where's it going to go? I, I can't. A pro selling a house that's dismantled, selling a house and finding a buyer for it uh, that will deal with all the repairs. This is an expensive job. Yeah. But so, we've been talking about it for I know. a long time. I, what does the homeowner want right now? The what homeowner, the, owner of the, property want? the homeowner doesn't want, well, if, if she doesn't get out of there, they're going to give her, uh, they're going to uh, not tax her, but find her for bike. If she does get it out of there, then she won't have that problem. Can I she, just ask who is the homeowner? Sorry. Uh, the pop, the uh, Padula family. Okay. Yeah, technically. You're just saying she, so I just want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, I deal with Anna. Yeah. There's Anna and Leo, uh, who are husband and wife. They're, they're very nice people. And Anna really doesn't want to build anything right away. She's not ready to build anything right away. And here's she, the Here's the yeah. um, conceptual problem we yeah, have. Yeah. This property's been failing for decades. Right. And the original owners asked to take, wanted to take it down, and we said no to them. Yes. In hopes that they would be encouraged to do something productive right. with it. And that went on for years and years, and decades even, Probably of them years. wanting to take it down and them being told no by the town yeah. and by us. Yeah. So now someone new comes in. Yeah. How do I now say, sure, go ahead. I think. When, when, we have no concrete plan for where it's going to go, and no concrete plan for what's going in the space. Yeah, well, who's going to own it? Or are you talking about selling the house once it's right. assembled? So you can well, see our problem yeah. is we said no, no, no to yeah. the people that owned it, yeah. and now potentially we're going to let somebody else put what on it? Uh, they're I, going to develop I don't the property? Think and she, don't she doesn't want to develop the property. They don't want to develop the property. They like the parcel of land it's on. The only thing they would add would be a small barn and a garage. That's what they came in they with, what they talked about last time was a faux house that, that would be a garage. That was my concept. Yeah. And uh, it, we placed it on the property where they wanted it, and it seemed to compete with the house. It's a barn. It doesn't really look like a house, and it looked odd. And that's what the, the additional problem. Yeah, it was, uh, Anna and I had a talk about that, and it, it kind of soured her a little bit for a while. And she said, you know, I'm doing everything I can. I want to save this house. But if I think if you don't save the house. But what efforts have been made to raise money, to find a buyer, I, to talk to Web Dean? Those were all ideas I, that were before us a year yep, ago. Yep, I, I have not. I've reached out to, uh, I, I've called the new director at Web DC, which I've not heard back from him, and I want to talk to him in person. I mean, I think it's a little bit of a fantasy that they're going to be the saving day for I don't, I don't, town does I don't, want to own more property, I don't, more antique properties. Yeah, if you let me respond to that, I'm not hopeful, but it's a possibility, because I was approached uh, by Ann Cookrow years ago about putting a house there, and that was a house from Hartford. This is a house from Weathersfield. And I think it's one of a kind. And I do a GoFundMe program. I, I would do anything to get this going. So I'm doing research on the building now. Trust me, I have deadlines for some other buildings I'm dealing with. And I don't have time to go and meet every museum curator. And I would love to see it stay in Weathersfield. I actually drove around Weathersfield the other day when I was here. And I said, where could I put this? And I asked him about the... Uh, the old um, auction house, uh, clearing house, and now they're. Or did I ask you? No, I asked. I'm sorry. I asked. I asked the. I talked to the president. It was Amy, the president of the. Uh, it wasn't you, Kim. It was the president of the uh, Historical Society. The Historical Society. Right. They're all fast to use around. So either way, if the house is restored or torn down, it's not going to be that house there again. But I think where it goes. I don't think that house is going to be there again. But unless someone wanted to do it, but who has $750,000 or 800000 And I had some people tell me that's a low number. But that's no matter where. There's so much, yeah. There's so much work to be done there. And what's the, 
the highest price you could build a house for in that area of town, 350. I don't know. These days it's going up fast. Yeah. Well, okay. zone for one acre. That. Is yeah. that lot zone for one acre? Well, the they don't want to sell it. They want to keep the property. But so it is all one. But there was it's all one. Yeah, yeah, they're going to consolidate it. Um, I, I also included, and I will respond to your question. I think it's a process. Think your first name again? Jennifer. Jennifer. I think it's a process. I have, I've had four houses in storage. I have one house that I've had in storage for 10 years. John Olds house. The old house in Hartford, the Gamble Softbox, I've had in storage since 2005. You're that's that's not a good answer for us. Now. But, oh, well, yeah, but there's 40 houses I have. Just right. I, understand, I understand, but yeah. for our project <coughs> as a yeah. historic district commission, that is not an answer that lets us take it down. I think the other answer is, if I don't do it soon, you will lose the house completely. I'm saying never, your professional opinion, how long we lost the Wilson Barn. You will, never, you will never have it. If it goes another few months, you will never have it. So that short time. And I want to, I want to, and I want to protect Anna from being fined. And I think Charlie and Steve would condemn it, and then you would have nothing to. Right, but I think it behooves the owner to have a plan, a fundraising plan now. Yeah. Get it together now. I'm, I'm not saying you have to do well, it. The homeowner needs to have a plan. Yeah. And if you're the one that's behind the scenes pulling the strings for it, fantastic. Yeah. That's the idea. That's the way it would be. I but would work. we can't bet on something maybe happening perhaps in the future if I we understand. can do it. We need you to have a real yeah. plan. Yeah, yeah. And excuse, excuse me, Kate, it was Amy. <laughs> uh, I, I meet so many people. You don't know what my life is like. I'm saving so many buildings right now. Uh, I think it's better to save it and document it and put it in storage and see if you go into the, a dump. But you understand our problem with the process is that we said no to the family that owned this property right. forever. Right. And now someone new comes in and you're asking us to say yes. Would you rather? And I'm sorry. Would we rather have it fall to the ground? No. Yes. Would we rather have it be condemned? Absolutely not. Yeah. But we cannot. How can you ask us to literally give the new homeowner the opportunity to develop all that land they don't when the prior? That's what they say. Oh. We're told that all the yeah. time. Okay. And it you, often you have no turns. Control over that. Yeah. Then you would have to hold we have, her. We have You would have to hold her to that. Though. We I'm have sure. no way to do that no. except to say. Previous on there was statement right. proposed a cul-de-sac. There's cul-de-sacs all up and down Mill Town. Uh, yeah. Right. The sad part about they would get ice. We would be if we said no, we could sue. Yep. 100%. Because we, it would be taking it would be taking the property. Yeah. Because we would have allowed removal of that property or yeah. it would have been removed some other way. Yeah. And if the homeowner comes in or the owner, let's say the yeah. homeowner, the owner comes in and says, I want to develop that property, we cannot say no. We can control what goes on it. We and here's the way to solve it. If in fact you believe that they really do not want to develop it, okay. have them put a conservation easement on it. Okay. And then we're convinced. Okay. And then you say to us, we're going to take this house down. This is our plan for fundraising. This is who we have lined up. This is what we're going to do. Yeah. This is my plan for taking it down. Then we're talking about something. Yeah. You know, if you if they can if they're willing to do that, if in fact that is really their intent. Yeah. Then I feel like I have not done a massive disservice to the prior owners and the family yeah. by letting something happen that we didn't let happen in the right. past. Right, I understand. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah. a real. We're in a real dilemma, and we understand it, your tough. dilemma. It's a catch twenty two. Uh, absolutely, it absolutely um, is. But if you can get them on board yeah. and start fundraising and have a plan and yeah. get some people, talk to Connecticut Historic. I, I was talking to Preservation Connecticut today. That's yeah. one reason I was late today because I was on the phone uh, <coughs> with and that, one a, of their, you know, key people yeah. for an hour and a half. Today. And that's a good resource. And I was talking to um, uh, Amy. What that is supposed to be? Withrow. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, we're supposed to get together, and I was supposed to write her a letter. And I'm doing. I'm studying the house now. This, I just want to show you these briefly. Uh, this looks great. This beam, this summer beam, that's beautiful. That's worth saving. Mm -hmm. And the joists are pretty good, except you get to the other end of that room 
Well, that's not the right room. And they're rotted, right? Hold on. This is the front room. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, no, no. This this is a front room, but this is the right front room. That's the south room. So this is what it looks like on the other end. Okay. And then so in any case, though, but this is the district loses the house. It's going to lose the house, however you look at it. Right. Like my coming along is probably safe the house. Well, if the district losing the house won't change. It won't. And that's why I'm trying to Unless talk to some to next to old town or something. Not used to be honest. So it, you will not have that house. Well, I, I mean, if you're fundraising and they're willing to do a conservation easement, they may be willing to have it put back on site. I don't think so. It's too close to the, the road, and I don't think they want to pay for it. It, it would be at least 750000 No, no, but I'm saying if you're fundraising to save it and it's not their money to preserve it, that's, the conservation easement includes the property on it. That's right? where they want their driveway. Um, which, the again, which again leads me to ask, what is the intent for the property? Yeah. Yeah. What do they want to drive with? There's, there's no other. Well, they want building on the property. Yeah. They want. They, they want the house there for the outside. What? Yeah. Like you had. Yeah. They want. Proposed. They something, want something. a back proposed that other building that would be accessible. Right. And I don't think she, uh, they want to do it. That's my opinion. We 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 had discussions about that. Um. Well, discuss with them the yes. conservation trust something to preserve. If they're not yeah. planning on developing it, then something that essentially prevents them from developing on it, which is not us, because we can't do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some sort of e conservation easement on it. And yeah. and then um, you know have a have a fundraising plan. Have a little bit more. We understand how poor the condition of the building. I walked around the back. Yeah. I get it. I completely understand yeah. that. But it doesn't help us do anything for you yeah, because the, the bad condition of the building. So these are irrelevant. These it's not things. irrelevant. No, it's it's just there's, there's nothing we yeah. can do yeah. right yeah. now. It actually helps the case. It can be preserved. It's just like, yeah. Yeah. This Maybe is pretty bad. The yeah. From the middle of the, not the middle, from three quarters into the front rooms on the second floor, it's gone. Right. This yeah. is all, this is the back of all those rooms. We even have a summer on the first floor propped up. Here's another idea for so, you for a location. Preservation, conservation easement with in perpetuity. There's um, yes. lots of open property that the town owns on the other side of town. Right. Farmland. Yeah. Maybe if you find a fundraiser yeah. to build it, to yeah. move it, Maybe it's a building that the town would be interested in using as yeah. a something yeah. for whatever fields they're going to build over there and that sort of thing. I mean, it'd be a would great you idea. folks support it if I build it somewhere else in Weathersfield? We don't have to. Cer no, I mean, would, you, that. would that appeal to you? Certainly more than seeing it in town. Yeah. Uh, having a having a proposal with some with it ending up somewhere. Hmm. Within our lifetime, mm. within your lifetime, as opposed to my lifetime is getting up there. But exactly, you know, so, but, but and, I'm so good shape, so. and so is mine. Uh, but as opposed to having to sit in storage for the next twenty years. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. So, I so so my, my my question is: if you, were, if you did a GoFundMe page, yeah. you were able to come up. Yeah. Yeah, just hypothetical. If you were able to come up with seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, or the owners, the owners wouldn't let you. This on site, like we know, I'm not sure. I have to talk. So there's you, there's the answer. There's the answer right what there. they're planning on do, I, doing. Yeah. The property. Well, no, I think they just want the one house and I think they want a barn and a garage. Now, you were looking at the base, you said you could go in the basement. Oh, so very, I've gone corner. in the basement. Oh, you have, I've crawled through the basement. Have you put any supports down there? Not the basement, no, no. So it, it's crossroads, so, right? It's not even a full basement anywhere, yeah. and it was probably a half. So if the floor choice on the first floor go, every all that work's gonna come down. Anyway. Uh, yes, I don't see that happening because okay. they're basically sitting on sand. Yeah. 
It, it's not it's a large ball. Yeah, it's still. It, it, it's the structure of the ball. Most of these bring new construction, and then it'll add the old details that are salvageable and skin it with the old siding if possible. I'm not going to use not the old siding, but, so like but I time. would do. Uh, a little siding lasted better than yeah. the house. Oh, definitely. A lot of old siding. It, it could be weather worn. I worked on a house in Glastonbury where uh, a guy in the 1990s had put in all of the frames on the first floor, and there were mortise and tenon frames. Uh, they, re they had been replaced. And all the ones on the second floor got painted and scraped. Those were old. Those were 12 over 8s, 12 over 12. So they put in new pine. Uh, all the pine rotted within 15 years. And the second floor, even though they were weather-worn, they were from 1742, they were still fine. So anyway, it's getting late. Uh, um, yeah. So there's a lot to talk about between now and the next meeting. You know, I'll have a very candid conversation with my customers. I, I think, my God, is they're very well-intentioned people. So a preservation Good. easement it's wonderful. might be, and they like their privacy. They want to put up a nice fence. They do want to, I said, if you do do a barn, let's put 12 over 8 windows in it. And uh, it would be a nice barn. I prefer to some very good people. But uh, they don't want to do it for a while. They don't want to spend the, the money. But the, the kind of easement I'm talking about would allow them to put in an outbuilding of some sort. Yeah. And, and maybe another outbuilding, a shed sort of outbuilding, a barn outbuilding. Yeah, but uh, it, yeah, it, it that's would, where they want it. It would allow for that, but preserve the property against development so that yeah. there's not 18 houses yeah, in the gotcha. backyard. Gotcha. That's something to talk about. But that they would only consider that down the road. But we can all we can talk about but the easement, that arrangement. But it would be nice to have the easement sooner rather than later. I understand. Yeah, because that tells us their if you're gonna, what their real intentions are, and if you're going to move this house maybe to another location in Weathersfield, and you have a plan for the fundraising to do it, then you're in a better position yeah. than you are today. I don't I don't know if by the 24th I can, uh, I'm dealing with a tight schedule with the Capital Lands House, and the, uh, this is all off the record, are we being recorded now, or? Actually, we are. Oh, okay, I hope this is confidential to a certain degree. Uh, so the town planner there is going to be helping the historical society is helping me. The archivist for Adelma Simmons is helping me. Yeah. But I still have to get money to my uh, the gentleman that is allowing me to save the building. She, she's more famous than Nathan Neal in that town. Because they at least knew what she looked like. She knew what she said. And uh, if you if you have something pending yeah. uh, that you've already filed that we haven't seen yet. Kim would have seen it, but we would not have seen it yet. Yeah, I have. Then, then you're planning on coming in with something. Maybe it makes sense to wait a little bit until you have something more cohesive. It's than possible. What you yes. We're going to have a meeting with uh, Steve Larulo and Charles, and I know uh, Anna has a, has a, come in and had her own meetings. The family representative, right. and I like I like them. They're nice folks. But uh, you know, <coughs> as far as you're concerned, you want to see what's going to happen. And for me to put together a long term, a long, I would have to do a fundraiser, I think. And we'd have to get people interested. And the more I find out about this house, I'm going to go to town hall, uh, not to town, I'm going to go to the historical society tomorrow and see what else they have. I have a lot of information on it, and they're quick, conflicting reports. We think we have an overhang on the south side. There's always an overhang on the south side. All these people years ago, Talked about it starting with a one room house. The house that, you know, and they all do the chronology, and you know for sure. And I also, think what's more important yeah, for us, though, is plan. the plan. Yep. I talk about all these good things over there doing drawings right. and documenting it. The history, but the history will help with the companies. Right. And I, without that, I think this is a town that we uh, you, you, you got to have a future, right? Right. You got to know what it's about. Yeah. Thanks for all your time. I know I'm pleading with you a little bit. I'm no, no, I'm trying my best. We very we're, we're just in a very difficult spot. So it's an option. We are. But if it if it if it did come, it's with a bunch of people bringing together. And I can't take it down. It will be lost. So so let's get into those kind of also see how it is.
or yeah. maybe you're right. Uh, well, I don't know. Let me talk with the yeah, with customers. Yeah. 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 Yeah.